Hello, and welcome back to Steel Division 2. We're back on Slutsk East, West, eh, <laughs> one of them. Uh, today, here with Dennis Deroidit and Daroyer. Yeah, <laughs> so, Kobo Tango's Little Kingdom versus the Foxes. A little bit of a friendly rivalry going on between them. And we've got 16 Panzer versus 84th Guards. 84th Guards definitely has the advantage here in the north, but not so much in the center. As long as Dennis can get his tanks up and running. Right, if some of those Kick Daggers start getting into play, it might become very, very deadly for Dairoya very quickly as well. But we've got a 2 3 millimeter off map to start here. A bunch of MGs and such going in for the center here. So, might be able to contest this MG42 as well. And wow, early, early off map. These two Stompanias might not really be. In range for it though, and the good idea is well, it's got to get into range of it, so off map might be just what he's looking for to get through here. <clears throat> yeah, SG43s dealing with the MG42, lots of suppression on these SG43s. They did buff them at some point and gave them a 1250 meter range to match the MG43, so actually worth taking now over Maxims. And uh, yeah, I do get a pin down on that. I mean, 42 is gonna be forced to fall back. Guards DP here, though, also forced to fall back. T-34 and SU-76 coming out in response to all these tanks here. But as long as this Pack 40 keeps moving forward and keeps an eye down this line, none of these tanks can really challenge it, right? And then the auto cars can as well move around the side together with the Pentagon and yes, to fight. Did you do going down? Some kind of PTRS surrender to so the Pentagon and there, but this off-map is going to be Deadly Stone Pioneers do get uh, pinned down, which is all that he really needs. They go here. He's gonna get his bombs off, but there's a lot of units here together. The T-34E, the Stug, it's really the only thing holding back those forces. The Fork of Wolf coming out, and uh, Lilla though for the center. 233 and the 231 might be able to finish off this 45 mil. Uh, Pack's really gonna get a move on, I think though. Fork of Wolf coming up straight from as well, as long as there's no AA here. Perfectly fine, I keep doing that. The fighter is a bit better at strafing though, but still a perfectly fine implement. Second off map gonna be coming down straight on the Stug. And on the second Stumpine here, the Kennedy here. Just just at such low health that unless it potentially catches the Arc Bachiki out in the open, won't be able to do much against that in T34E. Find out the MG42. Only a single Panzer gun here coming in. Instead, choosing the best more in the south here. Box finally moving forward now, and the T-34 does have to be a little bit careful by diving to the side here. And if it does dive into the side, we can certainly go hunt down those other cars. All right, so, would expect to see a Panzer Shark or something brought up, uh, but it's hard to say. <laughs> right, he obviously sees the T-34E, and is probably hoping to just kill it with the pack. Pogovoop does fall back, Stug Pioneer goes down, Stug is... Ooh, gets the loader knockout, unlucky there. And then forced to fall back, no doubt going to go down to the T-34 now, which will be a very, very crucial part of Dennis's uh, defense down here. With just the Panzer going to get a Sturm Pioneer coming up to try and regain that. Instead, potentially over-investing into a lot of planes. Like, there's... He's looking really low here. Uh, Darar has invested a ton of points into this area and even managed to get this flag here. So, unless... These units down here can really pay themselves off somehow, but it's to bring in a tiger to really dominate this center area, right? You've got one, two, three, four flags that are potentially up for grabs if you can dominate the center area, but from this side of the map, it's of course a little bit harder to do. I always prefer coming in with my 2k from this side, All right? It's just easier to just fire position these houses and then this flag is straight in the open, same as this one. Uh, and then you can also exert influence over this quite easily. Certainly more to do though <laughs> and yeah gonna be coming in if that's backed up by some kind of 2k AT the roar might find it very hard to do something about it no puzzle check another Stug coming in though Stug for T34E definitely don't want to be doing it at close range but the Gavardia now shoot that's the Panzer gun idea as they move in this flag is also gonna go down I have no doubt Panzer Shrek's gonna be forced to move back Let's go back to 1212 12 now. 37mm coming out from the center here. Has to be a little bit careful with the Zenar sitting around here. And uh, yeah, takes coming out around the side. 
now. SPW does have heat shells, so target ability is a penetration, but if uh, it's the one in the lead, and the T-34 spots it right away, yeah, which it does, the T-34 might actually, might actually get the jump on it. <laughs> Misses, and goes down, and then the T-31 has gonna send no chance in hell in penetrating T-34. T-34 are gonna kill the T-31 as well, as the Alpha Tiger goes down, removing Cruiser Recon here, and it's a 1410 right in the beginning of the game. Fairly early into the game, too, yeah. Titan coming out, though, for that 2k. And slowly but surely, this is, is going to be getting set up here in the center. Which adds some AA on top of that. 84 does get some excellent uh, AT planes, right? You do want to protect your tanks. This might end up being a very dangerous combo. And even making up for the 2-3 lost flags here in the center right now. Only two. Yeah, only two spikes. But. <laughs> certainly be more at any point. Or, might be. Might be this flag that's being pushed offensively. And then these two flags are both on the blue side. Anyway. Stone Pioneer here. Ooh. Gets spotted by the Gavardia DP in the wrong position, so. Won't be able to really kill them. Hawk Wolf coming in. Zenards, though. Yeah, there's a lot of planes here. There's still no AA. Surely Doror realizes this, but for the time being, lots of guards coming in. Stug is looking over this road-ish for the time being. We just had a game, right, where this this road was crucial to your, these two positions, just for cutting off enemy reinforcements that are a little bit missed by road, which is quite often something that happens at this kind of a level, but... 50mm uh, RM38s here. Going to be able to clean out all this infantry. Stone Pioneers provide no threat when they're being mortared that heavily. He's also saying that. Just barely manages to pin it down with a stray mortar round. Another Tiger coming in. Interesting there. And, uh, yeah, Dennis has to get a move on. Pack 40. Oop. Going to be firing, uh, AP from what's the things now. At the SU 76. Well, this Yak one's got to be firing at the Pack 40 as well. But really, you got to get your AA out. My god, I keep saying it, right? <laughs> but it's true. Arm 38's moving god knows where. You think one of the Tiger got to at least put it back to uh, 10 minutes till the feet rather than the 59 that's achieved so early on. And Tiger's coming in, getting set up. SC-76 going to be forced to move back, which might give this flag potentially to Dennis. And as long as he gets this uh, 2k HE here, and some kind of unit to push forward, there's nothing in this position right now. So, trucks could just move in, or even a half-track, and pretty well cover this entire area, as long as the half-track doesn't die to the M42, of course. But they're gonna, or the cable is just blapping that as soon as it sees it. Right, check one. We're running out of ammunition there. Oop, and the guards. Might actually get close enough to the Stug, for the single MG, not quite enough. Pioneer is going to be taken on the turn by the Blue Breezy and the cards of the GP. Ah, that was the best pronunciation I've ever had of that, but Stug really under some threat here. Either keeps firing at the guards or really fires at the T 34, which is the threat here. But Tiger more than capable of killing the T 34, no doubt. Not that it's required. Pack 40 does a wonderful job. Another importance of having a T 10 in this position, I'll say it a couple more times, I think. And, uh,. Tiger actually getting shots onto the AA there. Not what you want to see. Fokovos are allowed to dominate this open range. 16th Panzer has some of the best Fokovos spam out there. Which is potentially why Dennis is investing so heavily into it. But he's continually running them into AA. And they do take a long time to repair uh, due to having been nerfed and such. <laughs> After the AA's fires on them, right? And now sure, you can have like the Fokovos come in and perform a strafing run. But... Like... That's not the right move. Where's your AA, right? <laughs> you gotta bring in AA. Go to fire it at the... Oh, that's, that's one dead 37mm. And the question really is now, uh, can Dennis exploit this southern area before <laughs> this northern exploit uh, turns into such a mess for him that he is unable to properly defend? Pokemon was coming for a bit of strafing, but as I said, it would have been better to just retreat that 
when it wasn't uh, taking damage, right? Because then you reload a lot faster. Instead, running straight into the head head on in the Zen art here. SU seventy six goes down. We'll give this flag over to Dennis. Just about, yeah. <laughs> Putting it back on a 14-10, but he's, it's not like he's holding out for C-phase income or something. He's really going to hope for this B-phase, and this B-phase is going to have to bring a lot of firepower to bear, potentially King Tigers or something like that. There are multiple Stugs here now, so we might be able to push some influence back over this flag. <laughs> but, yeah, he's going to have to find some way to do this. Center does go down, and the 85 bill is even... More at risk to being spammed by Focke Wolves. Akmachiki, though, gets up in the face of the tiger and gets some firepower on board. So I don't want to be running the pioneers past the Akmachiki of the PTRD either. This pack. I wonder why he moved it back over here. But yeah, could have had another T34 kill. As two more PTRSs. Funny to see them not in the WLA, but heat of the moment, I guess. Ooh, and the still gets sniped by the T-34 here. Oh, but Blitz does go down. Pioneer. Might get the kill on the RM-38 here, which would be important, but it's still going to go down to the guard's DP. And actually, it's just gets straight up pinned down by that. Tiger. It's got to get range on that 37mm. It looks like Dennis is slowly starting to stabilize. Two more this threes and another 85 mil. Important to have these 85 mils overlapping, especially with Fuckabos into play. <laughs> As is, uh, 251 is just going to push forward and potentially just give line of sight onto these Archimachikis, which are holding the only thing really holding this flag. Yeah. Is this threes? They got definitely the firepower to kill the pack 40. So we're going to be relying a little bit on the Tiger. And oh man, now we finally see the AT planes coming in. TU2. IL-2, two. two minutes into Phase B. You can't tell me he doesn't have any AA in Phase B, right? And, uh, oh man, this will be deadly. There's lots of targets here. And sure, you can bring, like, a Focke Wolf out. But this will even... I know I know he's got quite a few, so... Potentially to kill the TU-2F, which would, uh, at least hamper the ability for this IL-2 to kill things. But really, there's still a sniper over here that is seen more than enough instead. Brings in another Punzik at India. <laughs> brings in two Punzik at India's. Oh man, right at the Valkyries over here. Finally, a Mobivog. T34E. Killing the Pundit Grenadier down here. Or will. As <laughs> the IL 2s come back around. Now for a double run. Whew. Maybe I'll add some music over this in post or something. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it has to come back around. 251. Not really going to be a threat there. Second mobile wagon also coming out. And not sure if I like it in that offensive area, but the Zis 3s are a little bit stunted. Yeah. Ooh. Disgusting. There's a second IL-2 coming out here. It does kill the half-track. And, uh, yeah, there's no AA on the north here either. This, these Tigers and these, these Stugs here are the, really the only things holding back this thing as the, as the Pack 40 is going to get more HE fire. One of the Gavardia from looks of things. Um, like a Focke coming out. You do want to kill the Recon, right? But there's running straight over AA again. And the Recon is going to get away with it. Now, the second gun run here. The Silent 2 is going straight for that Stug 3. Oop. Misses it just the last second. But this one's now going for the Tiger. I have the mobile Vogons gotten close enough for the IL 2s. It's just wreck house. Ooh, doesn't quite manage to find the kill there. T2, once again, just a little bit too far back. Fuck Wolf coming in, trying to go for the kill desperately. These mobile Vogue is just really failing to get anything done, but there's lots of important armor kills out so far. Fuck Wolf, ooh. Wow. With only the two cannons, let's take forever to kill the IL-2, but it's not going to be forced to fall back. Might even go down itself, flying that close over the... IL-2, and now there's still one more IL-2 coming in for this Tiger. <laughs> wow, the fact that that didn't go down, a bloody miracle, I think. Tiger's got the front armor for it. I wonder if they, like, have angling in this game, almost? <laughs> to the point where it was less effective because it was firing at such an extreme angle there, but 45 killing 
the puns are going to do this here. Sure knows. Take control of the center again. Another Galilla coming in. Mobile Wagen here. Just have to be a little bit careful. Yeah, and uh, hasn't quite managed to find that 15 to 10 <laughs> or 12 to 12 to equalize. The Pioneer here, also very close to going down. Cherno just has to push forward here. And the Roar. The I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Literally is doing something, but for now, Texas flag. 45 mils still shooting at that pun's are going to do, so we'll make the first fall back. This Cherno can just sit on the flag and kind of ignore it. Oop, Cherno goes down to the pack 40 here. I'm really surprised that this M40 hasn't been shot at. <laughs> Like, more than once. <laughs> really coming in. Gonna have to kill that. Oh, the Pack 40 might actually go down to the HE here. No, it doesn't have enough, but still. I'll weaken Pack 40, and then there's a Zis 3 as well. Yeah, that's going down. <laughs> Which will remove a crucial piece of the defense down south there. 15-9 again. And you're just coming in. We'll get this flag back. So, we'll be a 14-10 for now. Whew, really... Something is needed for this area here. Some kind of indirect fire. That's just... Looks impossible to take back with the amount of infantry in there. Just a ton of uh, infantry coming in. Mobile wagon's finally set up, though. This one's getting precariously close, though. Running down that hill. So, it's gonna have to get off the ground there. And the Tiger will be covering the open ground. T-34s and such. Will be unable to exert influence that, over that flag as long as the Tiger stays put. But now T-34 is rushing forwards. That pack 4 did go down. And now the T-34 can attack with impunity. There's no more AT here to deal with it. Gonna need some quick response force to save the move on. And if the move on goes down again, well, that just opens them up to, uh, once again being deleted by a bunch of airplay, right? And that's a good idea. It does go down here. So back to 59 as well, having taken control over this area. Tiger didn't stay put. But we'll get the kill on KB-5. Or the Punzel false the fact, potentially. And so, 14-10 for now. Now, dual mortar carriers coming out. Mm, I mean, if you got the T-34 here... Ooh. Yeah, not very good. That's for certain. Might have had a chance if you hit in the yellow cover over here, which is certainly the hopes, but... Didn't quite manage to get away in a single T-34 doing, doing work down there. Tiger E firing up against the Chernos, but as long as those Chernos don't go down, like, will be hard to take. I think these only have, um, 750 meter range on their EP, yeah, so, unlike 88s, these aren't a threat to Tigers and such. Back 40 here, firing at something? Eh? Oh, it's the AA. <laughs> Might see that again, but, uh-oh, no more AA! The mole wagon moved away from the center and over to the left here, and... Well, the importance of having AA lads covering your tanks, because that is uh, one more Tiger that's got to be facing quite the barrage, but no, the motherfuckers do find it, so good there. Fuck, we might be able to come in and kill it. In fact, it is speedy, but the 85s, of course, will no doubt be firing at us shortly, and despite being medium resilience, it... Yeah, it doesn't get on the target for just quite long enough. It was just 188. It's definitely would have gotten that killed there, but not to be. Oh, I'm dying. Is it T 34? What was that in? Was that in a 222? It was. Wow, that's an expensive unit to be moving in. I mean, theoretically, the Pensacola like should have seen that. Huh. Interesting, interesting. And now an 818 coming out. <laughs> As, uh, there's a temporary pushback in this position. KV-85, though, with the flame tank. <laughs> I'm just gonna be able to sit there, as long as Panzer Shrek doesn't come up and kill it. And eight minutes left to get back into this game. Mortar carriers doing their best to kill this AA. Uh, maybe let those fucker boys run a little bit more wild, but there's another AA piece right down at the center here. And this car has run out of APG. Funny. E3 coming in, but there's now dual mobile bombs. That's got no chance in hell. And uh, no radio over here either, so these mortar carriers are a little bit inaccurate. Maybe we're taking Biobachla or something in this deck for that. 
And, oh man, now just a ton of Chernos coming in. Move this flag, but we have ourselves a King Tiger. And a Gota, of course. King Tiger kills that T-34. Well, they can clean up all these Chernos, making them quite the costly investment, but... <laughs> You branded a King Tiger with no air, right? Like at this level, I think this is Div 3 or 4, potentially. Um, he might not know it, or the Roar might not know it, but you can't head on a King Tiger even with an AT plane, right? You can with that rocket, planes, but not. Um, uh, not 37 millimeters. They don't have the penetration to get through the front of a King Tiger. They've got something like 85, which is, uh, equates to like a 0. 5% chance to penetrate a King Tiger frontally, which, given the rate of fire, it, it does happen. But really what you want to do is bring in two. One over this way, one potentially over this way. Uh, which is a bit hard to micro, because they don't like... They can go over the side of the map, but they don't like doing it. Um, and then you got to... Or one head on, right? And the other one's going to have to swing around and flank the King Tiger, which leaves you open to fuck with counterattacks if you don't want to kill it with AA. So, quite the impotent static target there. Kill it moving forward, though, into the rage of the T-34. Nah, what you want to see. King Tiger not in position to, uh, deal with that. And the gunner goes down. Dual snipers. Second gunner as well. E3. A19. A19 really going for it. Monster Shot coming in for the KB-85, and there's not a lot to hold this here. But just a ton of Gavardia up on top of this hill still. B3. Worse to fall back. So, oh, the KV-85 might actually uh, just get TNT'd. You might even see the Punzo Strike. Oh, before the Punzo Strike didn't move, but I would I would wager that this is going to move now. No way. Ah, there we go. <laughs> and despite it being a flame tank, he hasn't fired at the Pioneer. Let's go down. Which should give Dennis back this flag. B3's coming in. They're going to fail to kill anything. And now the King Tiger here. You really gotta find a way to kill these infantry quickly. The infantry here did go down, so you gotta bring in more infantry to back it up. And these Tigers, you gotta be aggressive with them now, right? Five minutes left in the game, bring in a bit of AA. That's what they see, though, right? Shoot. Like, where's the AA? Uh, we've only seen three mobile logins. One went down over here, so there should be a fourth if he took the card in B, at the very least. But 15 to 9. It's this three here. Gonna be providing good HE damage on these pioneers, so they won't be able to move forward. And <laughs> there's an IS-2 now! Yeah. Yeah, well, that IS-2 is gonna be a big problem. The tiger did go down. I missed it. Damn. So, gonna have to be a Puncifoss or something that deals with that. But yeah. I just don't see it happening. Pink Tiger. Slowly moving forward. That's a lot of Chernos, though, and there's no recon here. And, yeah, not being quite aggressive enough with it. As the IL-2 comes in. Oh, please don't tell me the IL-2 gets the kill here. Should get front armor to it, just in time. Oh, it's like a marine unit. Jeez. Oh, but it's facing towards the, uh, the other one. I think this is still front armor. Uh-oh. Gets the falling back, though. T-34 goes down. Uh, just the right time. This might actually save the uh, King Tiger here. This Tiger's got to move forward. The Kalu's got to move forward. Kill some of these Chernos. Uh, I don't think... Does this have enough penetration? 145? I guess it does. Uh, it's not like a great chance, though. <clears throat> Book of Wolf Force back again. I still gonna make it up on this hill. And right, if the ice 2 gets rolling here. Like, it's a bit dangerous to be doing this, but uh, I think Dennis is gonna be out of Panzer Sharks at this point. And <laughs> IL-2 cut in for the second one. Finally, we see a Mubelvog. Right. Rushing forward. But that's gonna be forced to fall back. King Tag still low. You really need to be pushing these flags. Did, did give him a little bit of breathing room. And potentially these seven minutes might be enough to push forward. And secure this flag and this flag, which would bring it back to a 12-12. And then you can start looking for offensive flags as well. But it's certainly an uphill battle. Go in here now. Go in here now. 
still got to have some kind of AA for this area. The mobile wagon down in the south won't be able to do much. And if multiple AA planes come in, right? Like, we know uh, Darora has two uh, 37mm AT planes. All you need is two of them to come in together with the Recon P2. Right, Recon P2 is going to be faster, going to get there first. Uh, but the Recon P2 is just a distraction. You've got a sniper down here that's providing more than enough recon. Bring one, bring in the other, and then you kill the AA. And once the AA is down, well, you can just move with impunity, right? Fuggle with fear. A little bit too slow. <laughs> Not going to be taking fire from the 37 mil all the way in the back here. And I, 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 I have still moving forward. Just have to be a little bit careful here. A lot of these guards are actually on very low health. Because these mortar carriers have been doing quite an amount of work here. Pioneer versus Chernobyl, though. We'll be able to pull it off with the RM38 that's out of ammo. That's just been providing influence over that flag. Come on, Bunza Gunner, yeah. Rush forward. Maybe not, but at least Q start Q moving, right? It's not period as it was moving, though. It's just going to get shut down. Ha! Ah, not what you want to be doing at this kind of a point, right? You do need to recon out in the open. Uh, surprised we have seen more ice through that open, but with King Tigers on the ground. I suppose there's not too much of a point to it. And now the IS-2 here. So yeah, these Panzer Grenadiers don't even have uh, Panzer Faust on them. There's only one bit of AT here that can deal with it. And that IS-2 is going to dominate this area. Yeah, with the rest of these guards. Should be able to clean up the Panzer Grenadiers. And that last mobile volume. And the Supreme Rocks as well. Coming for the Pioneers. Very dangerous stuff. It's going to have to be all in the south here, and he's only got two minutes to do it. And these Panzer Grenadiers were a bit slow. Second puzzle kind of idea has got to be coming in from the center here. Uh, P3 coming out. And Skrilla's got to come forward and kill this. And then some kind of infantry's got to be brought in. That's even just, just like single health puzzle kind of idea. It's a full health puzzle kind of idea. Please push forward, right? <laughs> it's hard to say. Hard to say. And then, of course, this far in the face C, Maverick versus Maverick. It'll be very hard to push forward, but playing 16th Panzer. Like, you've got all your expensive units out on the field and ready to go. So push. Push. If there's any division that can sustain a, a C-phase Mav versus Mav playstyle, it's got to be 16 Panzer. Drops a TNT on a Cherno's head, and it immediately goes down. Kind of be losing another two flags there. 2 3 three is coming in. One minute remaining. Push. Push. Go. Yeah, this needed to happen probably about a minute ago. <laughs> Same thing over here and over here. But it is pushing slowly. What they're going to do is kind of fast move over here. Right? Screw the M42. The M42 with the APCR won't kill it. Uh, you got to get those flags, man. But alas, not to be. There's too much pressure up in the north here. I have two as well. And even with the Gila finishing off this unit. And this three flags sitting open here, right? 53 seconds. If this had been taken, like, two minutes ago, that would have put it back up to four minutes, which would have given them enough time to push to this flag and this flag. And it would have been really good. Yeah, I know. I think just too much pressure in the north here. There's no way this size 2 is going to be enabling anything. Just 31 seconds. That's the idea is not push forward. This one's moving now, finally. Ooh. If this puts I got here was over here by now, might have been able to equalize on just a sliver of income. But it's too late! The ice tier actually goes down! Ah! This is so possible! But the puts I got is pinned down, right? This puts I got hasn't been pushed forward. Isn't gonna get it. Isn't gonna get it. This puts I got is not fast enough. Man, a matter of 30 seconds, and this was still a game. What a banger. What a very exciting game. Well. Wow. 2,375 kills to 2,740. Uh, well executed by Mr. Daror here to push where 16 Panzer is weakest on that hill. And a little bit of unlocking bad choices, particularly in regards to the AA, led to Dennis's defeat here. But, excellent game. I hope you enjoyed watching that, and uh, we'll see you next time.